All right, we're going to Battlefield. Loser semis, best of five. For fourth place. Um, wow, that was a really quick wobble. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. That was a really good wobble. Um, I mean, I feel like it could have been broken out of, but it was hard. You had to, like, preemptively break out there. Anyway, don't get grabbed. This matchup is definitely a test of your like how good you are at spacing. Because you have to space against two shields. <laughs> So anytime you mess up on a shield, it's like exacerbated by the fact that you're hitting another shield. So then they don't get as much stun individually, and you get like twice as much shield stun. <coughs> or hit stun upon hitting a shield. The jab grab, very real thing. Just gotta, well it's not terribly real, you can definitely crouch cancel or jump out. Um, it's just most people are scared, so they keep shielding after the jab because they're expecting a down smash to come out. So then the ice climbers can mix up whether they jab or down smash. Oh, that was dangerous on shield, but uh, Spencer messes something up there. So, uh, we'll see if Tom can pull it back. Going hard with that uh, good read or reaction on that air dodge. Even again. Oh! Nice, nice uh, escape. But that was a really good uh, forward air to set. Oh wow. I like that. I like that he went up and. I don't know if it's intentional because it looked like a grab, but but I like that uh, it covered the double jump option. Oh wow, I think Nana actually ended up saving Doc there. Just because of uh, um, the hit lag hitting Nana caused him to be in the air longer so he couldn't get a chug. Alright, clears out Nana. He's gotta fight the Popo game. Good edge guard. Now we're back to a one stock situation again. Pretty exciting. Game one. Not a matchup you see very often ever since uh, Shroom quit Doc. But, uh. Oh, that was really cute movement by Tom over right there. Good maneuvering. Oh, that was his chance, too, when uh, Nana with the Nana pull. Oh, scary. Oh, I would not sit there. <laughs> well, let's see if he can do damage here. Got them separated. And let's see if, uh... I think Wobbles mentioned it once. It's, it's, a, it's like a mini game you play. Every time you separate Nana, it's like a battle over Nana. Which is, um, it's pretty neat. It makes the game pretty interesting if you think about it that way. <laughs> like, basically, Popo's fighting so that Nana doesn't get sent away. You're fighting to just clear her out. But there's also the added factor of, you know, it's like a 1v1v, 1v1 1v1 rescue situation. I don't know, it's kind of weird. This is so close. Especially because Nana's still there. So, uh, anytime Nana's still there, it's, it's always a threat. Playing some Soul Calibur here. There's no melee option. Near the game. Alright, well, this is Soul Calibur 5. Spencer's 
fan of the stage. Save Hannah. Oh, wow. So, Meru just told me recently that uh, Nana can grab the ledge backwards, but Popo can't on their upbeat, which is insane to me. <laughs> it's weird that it was designed that way. There's so many little quirks in this game. Such a great game. I just... That was a great wave. A lot of damage, too. And that's why that was just equally bad, but... Oh, well. Um... High game so far. But yeah, I just love the, like, idiosyncrasies of, like, <laughs> the developing team that they put into this game. Like, for example... Oh, that is not... Uh, not something I would do there, at least. Um, questionable DI. Yep. Uh, like, for example, Dreamland's platform, so left and right platform are different lengths. The left one's shorter than the right one, apparently. Which is so silly to me. And, like, it's something I've never noticed before, so... Stadium... Doc has some pretty cute tricksies you can do on the stage. Do you want to commentate? Paul doesn't want to commentate. Well, this is 1-0 so far. Uh, the winner will have to play against Kwong in Loser's Finals. measure of precision, like how well you can kill Nana. Like, she's an AI and her patterns are always the same every time, so... Okay. So, yeah, like, especially if we play, if you, like, we have nice numbers in region, like, it's pretty important to be able to uh, clear her out very quickly, you know, eat her jump up, and just kill her. That was really nice. I like that he uh, got past him to do that there and set up an edge guard situation for really Winter didn't read that escape option. So that was a corner situation where, uh, you know, there's only, the like, only options there were to escape onto the platform or to roll past. Um, especially because Winter had invincibility, so he should have been able to react to both of those options and uh, catch him. It's something Armada's amazing at doing. And, uh, like, once you jump into his, his clutches, he uh, just destroys you. Dodge Dance Match. Works for both characters. Oh my lord! That was insane to me. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty brave of Tom. Uh, but he, I guess he had invincibility, so... See, those jabs? Crouch cancel. Absolutely crouch cancel. Right. Good edge work. So yeah, like, if I had any advice to give out, it'd just be like, watch your opponent's escape options. And then uh, figure out ways to trap them. Like it's really good against Nana, and it's really good against uh, characters who don't have an invincible ledge dash, basically. Tom pulled uh, pretty far ahead over here. Oh, unfortunate. All right, building up pretty solid lead. So those tourneys have been having pretty interesting results. It's another uh, kind of annoying thing that's going to happen to our true skill. It's going to be impossible to rank anyone. Ooh, okay, so he didn't smash DI out of the blizzard, which is pretty hard to get out of if you're in the thick of it. But um, up and away is generally the thing that you would have to do to get out of that. And he did such a good job of not getting wobbled in the previous game, too. Uh, dangerous, extremely dangerous over there. Um, 
like I said, like the way to get out of a jab wobble is to crouch cancel the jab or to jump. Almost another jab wobble. Jab grab. Oh, there it is. The tail end of the blizzard hitbox. Hopefully Tom's thinking about his counter pick. Or, you know, he could pull the miraculous. Come back. Uh, there it is. Alright, four stock. Strong game three. Going to game four, boys. So yeah, I'm surprised you didn't counter pick there first thing. Unless I don't have the scores right, which might be, might be true. It might be two on the other way now. Beautiful grab. I like that. <laughs> Spencer kind of respected it too much. You gotta realize exactly how much space he has. Especially because that move doesn't really hit anything. Like it's such a low or a small hitbox. It's really, really strong, so it makes sense to space outside of it, but... Yeah, he'd have gotten closer. Tom's playing a pretty strong platform game right now. Oh, okay, so you gotta do that later. You gotta hit him as late as possible and get the fuck out. Okay, so that's just stands there and does nothing. He's probably waiting for uh, Tom to go edge guard Anna, but Tom just turned around and hit him instead. So, minor mind games going on over there. Oh, unfortunate YOLO. Beautiful, uh, beautiful bre uh, breakouts. I like to see bigger punishes. Oh, Anna chooses not to cooperate, as she does often. So I recently wrote like a kind of guide about like moving faster. And I was mostly talking about like, you know, moving on the stage, removing dead frames and stuff. But like one thing I didn't talk about that I should have is also like reducing dead frames. That was nice. Wow, this is pretty strong lead. Uh reducing dead frames after you get hit. So understanding exactly how much head stun the move has when you get hit by it. And then being able to move immediately afterward. So um Spencer's been kind of doing a thing where he like sits right under Tom so that he doesn't have enough time to do like a fading back air or something. So then he can get a shield grab, a shield grab off of it. Because back air is inherently not a terribly strong move, so... Um. Oh, this isn't this is Dark Atma on the mic, but uh, the guide is just look up Monday Melee Musing from last week. Uh, it'll be in the St. Louis Facebook group. But it's just about reducing your dead frames. Um, trying to move faster. I also come out with one this week too, to talk about um, like spacing and uh, spatial advantage as it pertains to the stage. But I haven't finished writing it yet, so... It'll come out next week. Wow, hard read for a smash. And an edge guard. Alright, 3-1 to Tom.